All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Haven't made a video in feels like two weeks, so I thought, hell, I should just make a video on this. It's not really worth it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, and I'm here to bring you bad news on this Monday morning, because why not, right? I love being the bearer of bad news, because I mean, it sucks for me too. Um, so Rockstar has announced that Red Dead Redemption 1, the original game, are coming is coming to Nintendo Switch and PS4 on August 17th. Now, many of you may be wondering, you know, why is that bad news? Um, well, part of it is it's going to PlayStation 4 and, you know, Nintendo Switch, which implies it's really not taking advantage of anything from modern hardware, right? It's a port. It's not a remaster or a remake. Red Dead Redemption is one of my favorite games of all time. When I did my list, I think I put Red Dead, I think I put Red Dead might have been in my top 10. If not top 10, it's top 15. But I think it might have been top 10. And they're not doing this game justice for people who, act, who haven't actually experienced it. Because the way they're going to have to experience it now is not going to match up with the current time that we are in. As I said, this is not a remake. It's not a remaster. There's so there's there's no PS5 version or no no current um gen version. Um it's it's they is this doesn't mention Xbox because this is already available on Xbox through uh backwards compatibility and I think that might have gotten like a boost on um on Xbox 1 to reach somewhere near 60 frames. Or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But I think the X, the backwards compatible Xbox One version runs better than the like PS3 360 version. And of course, Re uh, the original Red Dead never went to. Well, I, sh I should say Red Dead Redemption because Red De the Red Dead Revolver is technically the original Red Dead. But in the storyline of Red Dead Redemption, y'all get the point. Um, I think this is going to be $50, apparently. Um, there's going to be a physical version on October 13th. It has Undead Nightmare, which was an amazing DLC. I still remember this fondly. But this is nothing but a port. So it's like, this sucks. Because the rumors for the, a long time that we've been getting was that it was some it was going to be some type of remake, remaster hybrid, leaning more towards the remaster side. But it's not even that. It's literally just a direct port. Um, so I would have been all aboard. This would have been a day one for, for me. Um, but no, I, no, I'm not buying this. And it's not because, you know, I don't really care about like sending a message or, uh, you know, how some people just try to, I guess, virtue signal and send me a message to the to the corporations that, oh, no, this is not acceptable. I don't really care about that. I just want to play Red Dead Redemption in a better way than I played it in 2010. You know, that's my thing. That's why I always say, like, listen, I will, my preference is always going to be a remake because I, if, if you bring back a game in, in some way or fashion, I don't want to play it in the, in the original form in the I don't want to play the original version that I played it the first time so I always prefer a remake but even a remaster is good now granted there there, there will be probably some benefits to playing it on the uh this PS4 version which obviously runs on on PS5 there will be some benefits um that it takes advantage of some small ones over the over the version that I played on on PS3 but I don't think that's enough. I think it, it might be, you know, minuscule, um, nothing worth mentioning. The, you know, the, um, the, sh the screenshots and the video that, have, that have been released, it looks clean, looks nice. And for someone who's not, I guess, uh, ha has this high bar for, um, you know, I just like my visuals to match the year I'm in, I, I guess, um, that, you know, I wouldn't call myself a, a graphics or a visual whore, even though I do feel like I have, you know, a high standard for, for visuals because in some cases, visuals do stop me from playing, playing games, 
right? If it if it looks really bad to me or if it just I don't like how it looks, yeah, I won't I won't play it. Um, but the main thing that stops me from playing a game is usually dated mechanics. Dated graphics, sometimes I can make that slide. Some sometimes. But dated mechanics, no, that's that's a no go for me. Point is, they're not doing nothing with this. They're not doing they're not doing nothing with it. If they, you know, like I said, if they did some things, made some real effort, I would buy it, but they really haven't done anything with this. It's like a straight port. Um and once again, not coming to not no announcement for PC, which which the game has never gone to. If this goes to PC, I would buy it on PC because obviously there will be some visual settings there. There there would have to be right. Um, even if it's still, it won't still be it won't be a remake or remastered. There'll still be some visual settings to make the game uh, look better than what we've seen it before. And of course, the multiplayer is not included. And um, I'm not I'm not going to knock them too much. I, I, I thought that multiplayer was pretty good. I, I played a good amount of it. So I'm not, not going to knock them too much about multiplayer because when 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 a lot of games are re- remade, remastered or ported, usually a lot of the times it doesn't include the uh, the, the multiplayer. Um, so I'm not killing them for that. But everything else like, bro, y- y'all could have done. Y'all could have done more with this. Um, y'all y'all could have done more. I. I just just doesn't seem like they care that much. And it's like, what's the reason for this? What's the reason for this port? Because usually, you know, when they do stuff like this, um, when they port a game, a, a, a older game, remake it, remaster it, there's usually a reason. For example, they they ported Alan Wake, uh, the original Alan Wake to, uh, you know, PS4, PS5, um, Xbox and all that stuff because Alan Wake 2 was on the way. There's usually something um, that follows this. And as far as we know, um, we're not getting like, we're not getting anything um, after, after this. Like there's not going to be a, a, a Red Dead 3 as, as far as we know. Maybe there could be, but people have their doubts because of like the, the timeline and, and, and shit like that. Um, but I don't know. Maybe that, that that's possible, but still, even if that was the case, that there there's some Red Dead Three way down the line because that would be way way down the line because they're probably they're focused on GTA Six now. Even if that was the case, why would the why would this be the version that you would want people to play? You would want to give them something a little bit more modernized. So I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. I like I said, I most likely won't be buying it unless there's some like news that changes the information that we have on this. I see no, I see no reason for me to want to really buy it. Um, also like if it was like super dry in August or something at the, you know, towards the end of August, or if it came out a time where it was super dry, uh, maybe I, I might just to, just to kill time. But there's some options at the end of August, especially going into September and all that stuff. So it's whatever, man. Um, y'all let me know what y'all, th- y'all think about this. Definitely not what I think most of us wanted. Um, for people who never played it before, great, great for them, which is probably a good amount of people. Um, so they'll be experiencing it um, for the first time they have a chance to. Great, great for them, I guess. But uh, yeah, kind of sucks. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. All right. Peace.